Hey guys, welcome to another episode of This Versus That. I am currently at the Adobe Max conference this week. This is a once a year conference that Adobe throws where they announce releases, new software, updates that uh, what they've been doing for the entire year. So uh, it should be pretty exciting. Um, in the spirit of Adobe, I would like to do a Lightroom tutorial today. And so let's get to it. Roll the intro. Okay, so we've got Adobe Lightroom going on here. Let's go ahead and open that up. My photo that I took last night. Now this photo, uh, the ground looks really wet in this photo, but it's actually not. So I thought I'd throw my phone down there just to uh, get something to focus on, just to get some of these nice bokeh shots. So first, whenever I get into a photo, the first thing I like to do is I like to set the global uh, setting first. So all my global settings, they'll be here. So the first thing I always do is I get into the exposure to make sure that that thing is set globally. Contrast, this scene right here, I like to pump the contrast up just a bit just so that I can get some of that, that nice uh, blur there to uh, really saturate that, those light reflections. So the highlights, uh, I, like, I always like to, to put the highlight down just a bit. Uh, same thing with the whites. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Shadows. Uh, shadows can go either way, actually. You know, if a scene is really dark, I, I like to up it. As you can see, I mean, it's, it lights things all around. What it does here is that it does cause some, uh, some, some graininess to the blacks. And so I like to just up it just a smidge. Same thing with the blacks. Okay, that's done with that. Let's go over to color. With color, um, in this scene, what I like to do is I like to uh, set the mood of the scene and this is where everything happens here. Uh, for the temperature, I would wanna go to the cool side just so it makes it look like it's cold and wet. For the tint, I like to go with the purple. My uh, color, Instagram color, and if you don't have an Instagram color, if you don't know what I'm talking about, is that uh, when someone look at your profile, you see a similarity in all of your photo. Uh, this is what makes them want to uh, to follow you because you, uh, you have a consistency going on. And so my primary color is it's actually like a purple-ish color. So I like to go up there, get that little purple in. Again, um, this is global setting, so it's gonna set everything. Uh, I don't like to do these adjustments uh, uh, too, too much. I, I don't like to do too much of these global adjustments on here. So I, I'm just upping it just a bit, just to make it look get that tone in there. I'm gonna go back to the exposure, the, the lighting, and I'm, I'm going to uh, do a little curve. I always like to do an S curve. Just because it always makes everything looks good. Now I think I'm good with uh, the color section. So I'm gonna go over to clarity and I want to up it just a smidge. I'm not going to do too much clarity globally because I want to uh, set clarity in the local adjustments. Split toning. Split toning to me is one of the most important piece in Lightroom. Uh, this is where uh, you can really make the photo look like yours. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. And so my photo is always for the highlights, I always like to do the yellow. And then for the shadow, I always like to do a little purple. 
purple or blue? It's around there. It's right in, in between uh, this this purple or blue here. So already you can tell this is coming out really good. Really good. I mean, look at the before and after. Before, it looks like it's just wet, but after, it looks like it's dark, wet, kind of a painting in a way. And here you can balance it out if, if you like. If you want a little more yellow to it, you can do that. Or if you want more purple, you can do that. I think that looks good there. So this is pretty much all that I do in Lightroom Mobile. The next piece is I'm going to do some local adjustment. So you tap on this little icon here, then you tap on the gradient tool. Here you're gonna be able to spread out some gradient. So what I like to do is because the bokeh is going, going from top all the way to down here, I like to uh, make some adjustment to the bokeh. So all the red that you see there is where uh, it's going to affect the photo. So in here, what I like to do is I like to go over to the red a little bit over there. Okay, so let me show you without the red, with the red. Okay. Again, I like to tone that down to the blue side to make it look even wetter. And this is where I would go into clarity and I can do some adjustment there. So I only want to affect the top portion of the photo. There you have it. That looks good to me. And so really, the, f the main focus of this photo that I want to show the audience is actually this, the wet area here where the bokeh is. Um, but you know what, that phone looks a little bit out of touch uh, in terms of the highlights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here, I'm going to do uh, some more gradient tool here, and I'm going to go from bottom up. And then I think I'm going to pump the, uh, the highlight low. Yeah, there we go. So you can see the, it at least gives the phone, it doesn't wash the, the phone face out too much. Definitely don't want to go up in the exposure there. So anyway, you guys, you know, play with this. Um, the most important thing is that you have the ability to uh, kind of affect where you want different things. So for instance, I go back in here, I'm gonna pick the radio, and I'm going to just pick a spot here, like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna just color it up. I'm gonna do some, uh, how about some green? Yeah, maybe, maybe green. Make it look like there's a stoplight there. Overall, so as you can see, with no color, with color, it blends really smooth into the background. So right there, it makes that photo really unique because there's just suddenly little pops of color. It just pops up here and there. And so the next thing I wanna do is, I want to duplicate this, drop it over to another section. Uh, let's say I want to change some color there. Just have some fun. There we go, that looks good. To make it look unusual, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, really, when I'm doing this, this is like art. This is your art. So you can do whatever you want on here. So really what Lightroom allows you to do is it allows you to paint. It allows you to paint your photo. That's exactly what I'm doing here, guys. I'm just painting my photo. Nothing more. Okay, I think this photo looks great. I am going to save it before I mess it up. Um, so let's go ahead and do an export, save the camera roll, a maximum available. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. 
Uh, hopefully you find it useful. If it does, um, give me a comment down below, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna be bringing more stuff from Adobe Max soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.